And when you take seriously that uh, answering questions, using the information, trying to generate it is crucial for learning, there's, there's a lot of implications. I mean, uh, one message I've given for students in the cognitive psychology course I've taught over a lot of years is um, input less and output more. You know, do, do, do less of this, just sit in the library and go over things a couple times. Uh, you know, one way or another, try to generate the information. Try to, the, the, you know, the textbook writer, the lecturer came up with one example. Can you come up with another one? Can you, uh, you finish this chapter now, and maybe this chapter had two major sections, and the first section had two subsections, and the second section had three. <clears throat> Can you produce that outline? Can you set the book aside and produce how that chapter was organized? All these kind of activities produce far better long-term memory than does just exposing yourself over and over again. And also research, long-term memory research shows that low-order stimulus, what we call stimulus-driven processes, will make the reading of, say, a chapter more fluent the second time. Just low-level perceptual things and, and processes that are called priming will make reading it the second time easier. That can be confused with understanding. Uh, it's a sense of fluency. And I can take that as sort of an index that I understood and comprehended. But that's using one index to predict a very different thing. You know, that sense of fluency is, is a misleading index if you want to assess whether you will be able to produce this information in response to a question. Uh, it's just not a reliable index at all. It, it measures whether you have, whether that you've read it. It will happen. It will. Uh, in fact, it happens a lot of ways. You you uh, read your own <coughs> essay paper. It'll seem better to you. You know, you felt like you struggled. You weren't completely happy with it. After some delay, you read through and say, "Ah, this is pretty good." And maybe it is better than you thought, but. One factor will be it will, it will read very fluently, particularly if you not only read it in the context of writing it earlier, but you produced it. It will have a fluent flow to you that won't be there necessarily for a first-time reader of, of that paper.